today, I want to inform you about deforestation in Malaysia by stating the cases in Malaysia, the reasons why are these happenings, and the solution of deforestation that we can do as Malaysian. So, let's begin. Do you know that Malaysia has the world highest deforestation rate between 2000 and 2012? Malaysia's total forest loss during the period amounted to 14.4% of its year 2000 forest cover and loss translated to 47,278 square kilometers and basically an area larger than Denmark. So, what is it you think the reason of these activities? First, forests are locked because timber is big business, so every tree represents money. Second, forests clear for plantation, agriculture, mining, and other economic development. And the third is, forests are severely affected by infrastructure, such as roads, railway, and factories, other buildings. Deforestation in Malaysia is a complex problem. However, the solution is very simple. In my opinion, in order to reduce deforestation in Malaysia, I think we should plant a tree. Planting a tree is probably the most straightforward strategy to fight deforestation and planting a tree could be considered as a lifelong investment into the environment and good mental health. By planting trees, you are helping to combat global warming because trees absorb carbon dioxide. Secondly, I think we should spread the awareness. The government should spread awareness by having a campaign to the people on how deforestation harm for us. Next, children also should involve in a Save the Forest campaign because we must educate people from the childhood. Also, the non-governmental and organization should involve too in prevent people from cutting the trees and we should save our country. And lastly, I think we should recycle. Recycle can save our environment. Recycle the product that makes from paper, glass, and bottles that you use in daily life, such as bottled water, books, or shopping bags. Also, buy product who have recycled. The recycled product can reduce the using of raw material and, and can avoid from cutting trees. On an individual level, we should give up on buying something that needs trees to be cut. So, no doubt that your action can reduce carbon imprint on earth and it can, pre it can prevent global warming and deforestation as well in this country. So, as a conclusion, we need your help. By protecting our forests, you are protecting your life because trees supply oxygen, something that we need to live in this world. Also, trees provide medicine and cure for many diseases. Next, you are protecting your future. The forest affect local weather patterns and regulate the climate. Floods, droughts, and landslides are often signs of a poorly managed local environment. And lastly, you are protecting your water. The forest are water catchment area that supply water to everyone in Malaysia